this video, I'll be talking about the ALX Data Analytics course and the ALX Data Science course. Now, a number of you have asked me to do a review of these two courses, and here it is. Now, if you're confused about what course to take between the Data Analyst and the Data Science course, now this video is for you. Now, we already know that the ALX is providing both of these courses for free. It's basically a scholarship, and it can be confusing to choose from two great courses, but this is going to help you. Now, the ALX is actually partnering with the Explore AI Academy, an institution that prides itself with grooming some of the best tech talents in Africa. And this course is, these courses are going to be mwah. Now, what's the difference between a data science and a data analyst? Can be confusing, right? But a data scientist is someone who can predict the future based on patterns, whereas a data analyst is someone who can merely create meaningful insight from data that already exists. Now, a data scientist is expected to generate their own questions, while a data analyst is expected to create answers based on a set of questions that has already been asked. A data scientist addresses the unknown, while a data analyst solves business problems from existing data. Now, you can see what is going on here. A data scientist actually creates problems while the data analyst solves problems. <laughs> Again, a data analysts are the ones who actually are involved in day-to-day -day running of the business, the analysis, and all of that. And the data scientists are asking the difficult what-if questions. So what do these people do in the workplace? Now, while both of these people have similar skills, like you know, they have to learn Python, they have to like you know S SQL, R, a data scientist actually goes above and beyond to learn machine learning and you know computing languages data scientist explores and examines data from a multiple multiple disconnected sources and on the other hand the data analyst looks at that data and you know goes into a single source and manages it let's go to salary a data science typically earns significantly more than they are data analyst and counterpart. Now, this does not mean that all data scientists earn more than all data analysts. Like, it depends on where you work. It depends on what you're actually doing with your skills. The average salary for a data analyst depends on what you are doing, basically. For example, if you're a financial analyst or a market research analyst or an operations analyst, you'd work at different places and your salary would differ. For example, the salary of a say research analyst is like sixty thousand dollars according to the bls and salary of an operations research analyst is like 70k and like a 10k difference and these are like average salaries these are not like staple these are things that change now at the same time the bls anticipates that the analytics job market is going to grow by like 30 percent in you know 2023 and it means that there's going to be a lot of people required in this industry because more and more people, more and more companies will need analysts. But I don't know about, you know, that anymore, given the fact that AI is actually coming in. Now, the median salary for a data scientist, on the other hand, is a whooping $113,000. The median salary. And that's in US or Canada, where it could go as high as $122,000. In fact, a team lead in data science can earn as high as $170,000. Six thousand dollars. You see, so like data scientists are actually on the upper end. If you like think about the critical, so what should you choose? Like, what careers would you be able to be working in if you choose either of them? Because like you are seeing now that that they are both basically the same. So let's go with the data analyst. Now, if you become a data analyst, you can become a financial analyst, business intelligence analyst, operations analyst, data visualization specialist. Seems like a lot. Healthcare data analyst, customer insight analyst, risk management analyst, which is not so different from a financial analyst. You see, and if you become a data scientist, you can become a data engineer, like this engineering, this data architect, like real stuff, machine learning engineer, which I spoke about earlier, artificial intelligence engineer, data management specialist, BI analyst and a quantitative analyst. So like all of these things have been pulled out from the ALX website. I didn't make it up. So which is best for you? Let's go to the crux of the matter. On this channel, I try not to tell people what they should do, but I try to open their eyes to see what can work best for them. Now, since we know that these two courses require basically the same type of skills, um, the skills actually overlap, right? But there's a significant difference between the two. Right, both of the job roles 
requires some basic mathematics, logic, algorithm, good communication, reporting skills, knowledge of software engineering, and we've established that already. However, a data analyst makes sense out of existing data. Like, data analysts use tools. They use, like, a lot of, you know, methods to capture information from data that is already existing. Data scientists are actually investigative, conventional, inquisitive, and they're kind of the i think the most important trait to have as a data scientist is like openness extroversion data analysts are very detailed they have to be able to create a pathway to solving problems that already exist inside the data they are presented with so they're like tools people they they know how to like master methods and they know how to you know, follow processes, A, B, and Cs, and D, E, F, G, H, I, G, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, and you know, whatnot. So like, which one works best for you? I don't know, you have to decide for yourself. Are you going to be an explorer, or are you going to be a custodian of data? Are you going to be someone who investigates stuff, or are you going to be someone who solves problems from things that already exist? How long will it take you to finish these courses? If you sign up for the ALX data, analytics or the ALX data science courses, it will take you anything from six months to 14 months. The data analyst course will take you six months, right? And the data science course will take you 14 months. The truth is, it takes much more than this amount of time to learn these things for real because this is an evolving field and new things are coming out every day, new methods, new problems, new things to deal with. So these are like maybe just introductions to the rudimentary skills that will actually get you to that point where employers can look at you as an intern. But this is how long it will take you. And the course would ordinarily have costed around $14,000 for each of them. And you should be grateful to ALX because they're actually paying for everything and putting you through the process for free while you do the work of rewarding them with your passing. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, subscribe, and share. I'll be back some other time. See you again. Bye.